Hello, I'm Angie Monko, life coach for intuitive women leaders. And today I'm talking about the pleaser saboteur, that part of us that wants to be loved and accepted by others. And so the characteristic is, is that one. It's needing frequent reassurance and um, acceptance and affection from others to know that we're okay. You know, and some people, you know, this the ego might get tripped up when we think about, well, no, I don't need, I don't need to do that. But I'm not talking to your ego right now. I'm talking to the part of you that that knows that this is true, that that we sacrifice. I say we because I am too. I have that pleaser saboteur. I have it. I'm not it, but I have it, and I trade my authenticity for being the pleaser. I don't know if that makes sense. So when I say I trade my authenticity, it's like we, we choose one or the other. We choose authenticity, being who we are, expressing our true thoughts and feelings, or we choose being the, the pleaser and being compliant. And, and this starts because when we're growing up, we're dependent. We're fully dependent upon our caretakers. And so if we learn at a young age, hey, it's not safe for me to express anger or who I really am, you know, my true thoughts and feelings. Well, what do you think is going to win? Being authentic, authentically us or getting that attachment need met? It's getting the attachment need met. It's going to win hands down every time. And this doesn't mean you did anything wrong, like, or that I did anything wrong. I mean, there's no shame or judgment here. If you would like to explore this and to start to heal your heart from it and create a new neural pathway in your brain, in your heart and brain, really, um, you know, seek me out and check out my next upcoming masterclass at harmonyharbor.com under events. And uh, it's three steps to expand your potential. I'd love to see you there and I'd love to support you and knowing that you are lovable no matter what anybody has to say about it. Take care. Bye.